No, this ain't episode one. This is not episode one, I am very sorry. But what you're about to see is something to do with episode one. The reason why we didn't drop it on the 27th is due to legal reasons. Um, and this video here is just to apologize to the fans and supporters of the show and everyone that's been waiting for it to drop. Um, I hope you enjoy what you're about to watch. Now in the coming week, I should have the confirmed date once all the paperwork goes through for the actual show's arrival. Um, sorry if this was an inconvenience for anyone. Uh, I hope you like the show. Ta-da. There is always a capers around here. I'm not talking about the ones you put on your food either. I'm talking more along the lines of a drama, an headache. Something's messed up or it's all gone wrong. But we never let these mishaps get the better of us. Because you know the saying, God loves a trier. Well, I hope he can see what we're trying to do. Now, when I say we, I mean me and my brothers. Let me introduce you to my older brother, Richard, or Dick, as he likes to be called. There's nothing crude intended by this, he just generally dislikes the name Richard. Now, having a military background, I'm not sure if this has something to do with it, but I do know his past has affected him in some way. Some people might say he's slightly unorthodox, or a bit flamboyant. But you know what? I wouldn't have my brother any other way. And no, he doesn't live on the edge of a cliff in a tent. I guess this is just one of those things he does to escape reality. My favourite thing about Richard, sorry, I mean Dick, is that he never lets anything in the present get him down and every day has an adventure for him. Which probably has a lot to do with his past and his experiences and what he's done for his living. If I could change anything, apart from his two left feet, it would be to change his past, because he hasn't had the best one. But who has? Who you say? Me, you, him, her, the neighbour next door, who knows? But one thing I do know, is that someone is always having it hard somewhere. Hold up, I'll tell you who hasn't had it hard. My oldest brother, Jeffrey. Unlike us two, he kinda come into the world with a silver spoon, so to speak. It's not that I'm jealous. It can be just a bit condescending to be answerable to someone who had life and a future pretty much handed to them on a matching silver plow. To then go and wait all in for a life of rock and roll, bad decisions, and then to ultimately join the strangest motorcycle club you have ever laid your eyes on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds scrap to me. Anyway, let's keep this positive, because that's what us brothers do. Positivity is and isn't one of Jeffrey's fortes. For example, he has left his life on the road to come and reunite with the brothers he didn't know he had. Being by our side for the last two years looking after us is a pretty positive thing, I guess. When I say he isn't, I mean, just look at his movie. He always looks like he's lost a tenner, found a fiver and spent a score. I guess I should speak about myself. 
But you know what? I'm sick of talking. I'm the baby brother. I'll let you lot work the rest out for yourself. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. For someone who can talk underwater and that boy needs now. You don't want to talk about yourself? Yeah, come on, Maxwell. That's a bit unfair. I suppose we'll have to say a bit about you then. That's right, Richard. Dick. Let's talk about old Casanova. Casanova? <laughs> More like an 80s clapped-out Nova. I never know whether he's out on a date or out a date. The island's ultimate man of mystery. I don't know how he does it. He's only been here for four years. And he's already more connected than the national grid. I feel sorry for you, Dick. Two years I've been in his presence, and he has completely drove me mad. But we do love him. He's our baby brother. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. He would do anything to help us. Saying that, he'd do anything to help any of his people. He hasn't turned out too bad, to be honest. Considering he lost his mum so young, and to go on to survive the big smoke, we are lucky to have him. I'm not sure where he learnt his chivalry, though. Certainly not our father. Too true. Shame the same can't be said about his mouth. 100%. That mouth has got us into so many capers. But you can't deny that he can always talk his way out of these capers. <sighs> the most ironic thing about him, his second name is Cape. 